We're also learning more tonight about the woman accused of what police are calling a random murder in the southwest part of the valley. The 8 News Now investigators were first to report 27-year-old Kyla Allery as the alleged shooter. The victim, 41-year-old Raul Cardoza. All happened at an apartment complex near Fort Apache in Twain about 4 o'clock Tuesday evening. 8 News Now reporter Lauren Negretti joining us in the newsroom with resident reactions and also what charges that that suspect is facing. Lauren? Brian Denise, Allery faces charges including open murder and assault with a deadly weapon for the death of Raul Cardoza, who police say was a carpet cleaner working his shift. This is appears to be a random shooting. A completely innocent, hardworking human being who's here at work uh, uh, is shot and killed while doing their job. The shooting happened Tuesday afternoon at this complex. Police saying 27-year-old Kayla Allery was seen checking car doors. After several reports, the leasing manager asked maintenance workers to find her. While that is going on, our victim and his brother are sitting inside their white van, which is a carpet cleaning company van. And they're here just doing their job. Lieutenant Jason Johansson says she approached the car and shot the driver, 41-year-old Raul Cardosa. I spoke with resident Jesse Frankel, who has seen the victim working at the property. Devastated because I didn't really get to know him that well, but I heard he was like a nice guy. While Joseph Mendoza didn't see the shooting, he's shocked it happened in his calm complex. This is a quiet neighborhood. Um, it's gated, but that literally doesn't mean anything nowadays. Nothing like this has happened. Um, any loss of life is a tragedy. Um, and I feel sorry for the family. Allery was arrested in a nearby neighborhood. She's expected in court Thursday morning. Reporting live from the newsroom, Lauren Negretti, 8 News Now. Our 8 News Now investigators also learning Allery was just released from prison and was not allowed to have a weapon. According to court records, she most recently served prison time on two arson charges. In August, the parole board granted her a release effective in December. She's due in court on Thursday.